Good morning, it's Dr. James. I'm truly grateful to have a few moments today. Thank you for your time and thank you for your energy and oh my goodness, what a beautiful day we have here. And I hope you are off to a phenomenal start this morning. I hope you're ready to live with your heart out loud. I hope you're ready to inspire yourself and everyone that you come in contact with. And I hope you're ready to be courageous in your serving and your loving today. And based on that idea, a truly cool study came out over this past weekend. And I absolutely love this study because it really helped me to center in on the things that I believe I want to be standing for in my life more and more, especially this time of the year during the holidays. And it was a study where they actually, it was a beautiful, cool study. It was really creative. It spoke to the whole idea of circulation, its relationship to happiness versus conspicuous consumption and that relationship to happiness. So here's what they found out. They took 100 people and 50 of those people were given $20 in the morning. And the other 50 people were given $20 in the morning as well. And they said, okay, this first group of 50, I want you to get really, really creative with that $20. And I want you to find a way to circulate it. Anything you want to do, buy a gift for someone, find a way to take a dollar 20 different times and use it for somebody's benefit, surprise someone, just do something creative in circulating that $20. The other group was given $20 as well and said, hey, do anything you want with it for yourself in terms of buying yourself something. Go get yourself a great lunch, buy yourself a present. Do what it is, but it has to be for you. The one condition is that each of those 100 people had to get on a phone call that, that same night to talk about their experiences. So here's what they found out. The group that was actually using that $20 for their own self gain, to buy themselves something, to consume something for themselves, they said, you know what? It was a lot of fun, but you know, it wasn't really a noticeable change in terms of my energy. It wasn't a noticeable change in terms of my overall happiness. These are all subjective things, certainly. But they also said, you know what? During the day, I felt my energy wane. Interesting, I felt my energy wane. Now the other group of people, the 50 people who actually were given the $20, but were told to get creative and find as many people or one person to use that $20 with to circulate and give them something, if you will, a gift, a surprise, you name it, buying someone a coffee at the Starbucks, who knows what they did with it. But basically, those people were asked that same night, how did it feel? greater happiness, greater feeling of, uh, of energy and aliveness, a sense of peace and fulfillment, they said, well, that was literally crazy wonderful. $20 used in circulation. So here's what's interesting about this study. It isn't about the money in terms of really what I think this study was really all about. It was the creativity of feeling, how am I gonna go out there and circulate? How am I gonna go out there and bless? How am I gonna go out there and serve? How am I gonna go out in the world today and use my secret sauce, my heart-centered gifts and talents and surprise someone with my love? Surprise someone with my creativity? Surprise someone with my artistry? And watch what happens to your circulation in terms of your neurochemistry. Because here's how science tells us works with this practice. We know in the law of circulation, we're actually getting outside of ourselves and serving and circulating. We boost our dopamine, which is our courage and motivation. We boost our serotonin, which is our happiness and our sense of peace and calm. We lower cortisol, which is that stress hormone. So it's not about the money. It's about the circulation. And we have an opportunity each and every day, starting today. I can't wait to figure out when I'm gonna go out in this epic living laboratory, what kind, of off what kind of offering can I bring into the world? What can you do today to get wildly and wonderfully uncomfortable by exposing your heart's knowing, which really knows the deep truth about you? You are alive to the degree that you serve. So with that, happy service, happy loving, happy stepping outside of your comfort zone and living with your heart out loud. Much love and many blessings. Have an awesome day.